Hello friends, Caitlin here, and have you seen the OA on Netflix yet? Oh my goodness, this show has binged right to the top of my favorite things list. You may or may not know about the OA on Netflix. It came out right before Christmas, and while it's been considered successful, it's not been on the level of Stranger Things. But I love it, I love it so much. Why, you might ask? Well, number one, it stars and is co-written by Britt Marling, who you may not know, but she is one of my favorite actors slash creators. I first saw her in Another Earth and it wrecked me, and so I have always been super interested in what she's been doing since then. And number two, it is an amazing mix of everyday reality with some really wild and spiritually reverent fantasy elements. <sighs> There's just something about Britt Marling's brand of supernatural mixed with natural where you can't tell what's reality anymore that just gets me every time. So a little synopsis for you. A young woman disappears for seven years and when she returns she has suddenly started calling herself the OA and her adoptive parents are really confused because when she disappeared she was blind and she's not blind anymore. In the first episode it does seem like it's gonna be your average story of a woman dealing with trauma and struggling to fit back into her normal life after a traumatic event. And it is that, but in a very different way. She ends up connecting with four teens and one adult who agree to meet her every night in an abandoned house in their neighborhood, where she then tells them the fantastical story of her life and what happened to her during those seven years. Let's just say this is not your average life story. It has near-death experiences, psychic premonitions, crazy science experiments, and the possibility of angels or some sort of supernatural other side once you die. And the whole time you are enthralled by her story while also wondering, is this actually real in any way? Because with every piece of evidence to prove it, there also comes a piece of evidence to discount her story. I spent the whole time amazed at how weird it was, but also how well it worked. Like, Oe's story sounds too fantastic to be real, but at the same time, her new friends want to believe it, even though it would be a lot easier for them if they didn't. But I loved it so much. I loved seeing how her little audience and friend group grew together and stronger because of her storytelling. And while Oe's story is amazing and kind of painful to hear at times, it's actually the stories that we see unfold for the other five characters that are the most rewarding for us as viewers. Also, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but that ending, man, that ending was like a stake through the heart. I didn't see it coming, but once I realized what was happening, it all made complete sense. So many feels but also so many questions. I both want a second season and don't want one because it's left so open and perfect that if there is a second season and they answer those questions but I don't like the answers that are given, it may ruin it for me and I, I don't know if I could handle that. So what do you guys think? Have you seen the OA and feel the way I do? I really wanna to talk to someone who's actually seen it because I don't wanna to talk to you guys because I'm afraid I'll spoil it for you, but I wanna know your theories on like the ending and and that therapist, hmm. <sighs> anyway, it's amazing in my opinion, and you should consider watching it. It's only eight episodes, that's like nothing these days. Tell me down in the comments all your thoughts and questions, plus remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys on Thursday with another tip to be more creative in 2017. We're gonna be talking about video editing. <laughs>